Hey guys, welcome to Piping Engineers. In today's video, we will learn about centrifugal pumps. We will see what is a centrifugal pump, what are their different types, and how their different types are used in industries. So, guys, for more videos and updates, please like, follow, and subscribe to our channel. So, let's begin our today's video and learn about centrifugal pumps. So, guys, what is a pump? A pump you would have all seen in your day to day life. So, pump is basically a device that moves fluids, solid waste, and chemical slurries by mechanical action from one place to another. So, there are two different things that, that while selecting a pump, we talk about. So, one is your flow, and another is your head. So, what this flow means? So, flow is basically the amount of fluid that we want to be transported from one point to another or it is the amount of fluid that needs to be pumped with the help of our pumping system and the next part is our head so head tells us the extent or the distance to which we want our fluid to be exported so while selecting a pump these two important criteria are considered and taken into mind so while designing a pump or while selecting a pump or while buying a pump we give two things about a pump one is our flow and another is our head so what we say we say that we require a pump that can deliver 40 meter cube of uh, 40 meter cube per hour of flow at 30 meter water column of head so these two things are the important points that are taken into consideration while selecting a pump so let's begin our today's video's main topic so what is a centrifugal pump so guys if we talk about centrifugal pumps in industry or in our common practice 90 to 95 percent of pumps that are used are centrifugal pumps so majorly most of the pumps that are taken into consideration are centrifugal pumps so basically what this centrifugal pump is as its name suggests their name suggests centrifugal so we all have studied about our centrifugal forces so these pumps basically work on this centrifugal force application only so it is a piece of rotary equipment that converts your kinetic energy into pressure energy or pressure head of the liquid so external power is supplied through motor or diesel de diesel generator that drives the impeller so impeller is basically the shaft uh, impeller is basically this this uh, this uh, cut out cut out type portion that is mounted on the shaft so the shaft is connected with the motor and when the shaft rotates this impeller also rotates so through this suction when our fluid enters uh, this impeller rotates the fluid with its speed and through centrifugal action of force the uh, fluid is moved through through this discharge vein and it moves outside so basically this is a basic function and basic uh, outlook of the pump that is followed the in the designing of the pump so fluid enters into the impeller by centrifugal force and it exists from the top of the impeller through volute casing it discharges so basically this is how a centrifugal pump works so all these things your motor your impeller your suction port your vein your discharge port all all of these things will be constant throughout your centrifugal pumps design and centrifugal pump selection so all these things will be always present in your centrifugal pumps so let's move on to our next slide and see what is the classification of centrifugal pump so depending upon your operational use depending upon your requirement depending upon where you want to install your pump we have different types of centrifugal pumps so basically all these are centrifugal pumps but the variation is uh, our basic variation is based on the requirement of the process so if we if we want to select some centrifugal pump depending upon the flow type so depending upon flow type there are three types of centrifugal pumps one is your radial flow type another is your axial flow type and the third one is your mixed flow type centrifugal pumps so this is one type of the centrifugal pumps so depending upon number of stages if we want in in next slides we will discuss what these stages means so depending upon number of stages there are two types of pumps one is your single stage pump and another is your multi stage pump third one is depending upon type of volute casing so the first one is your single volute casing next one is your double volute casing so depending upon your design code so different uh, different uh, com countries or different companies follow different design codes so depending upon different countries design standards we have different design codes for pump manufacturing or pump designing so like your api 610 iso 51999 iso 2858 din 24256 all these are design standards uh, depending upon the, the guidelines provided in these standards uh, the pump is manufactured and it is designed so this is one of the criteria for your centrifugal pump selection next one is your depending upon case design so there are two types of pumps uh, one is your radial split pump and another is your excel so all these three all these categories that are mentioned here 
are basically the classification of centrifugal pumps and in many of the interviews co interview courses uh, people ask about the classification of centrifugal pumps depending upon their various types considerations so let's see the detail in how uh, what these types of pumps looks like and how they are selected so if we talk about uh, the first one that is upon the depending upon the flow type um, we had we had three categories one is your radial flow another is your axial flow and the third one is your mixed flow type so if you look at this image in radial flow types what what happens is the fluid enters to a 90 degree turn from suction the most centrifugal pumps under this category discharge is perpendicular to pump shaft so what happens is our fluid will be entering from this passage and it will be going from this 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 area so this is my suction and this is my discharge and this is my pump this is my shaft so if you can see the pump is entering perpendicular to the shaft and it is taking uh, it is taking a 90 degree turn from the suction and moving outside so this type of flow this type of uh, pumps are the basic pumps and are, and are uh, around 70 to 80 percent of pumps used in industry are of radial flow type pumps and um, they are used for uh, high head generation so this type of pumps are uh, radial flow type pumps next one is your axial flow pump so when the fluid flows parallel to the pump shaft it is called an axial flow pump so uh, this is your this is your shaft and the, and the fluid is entering this way and, and it is moving upwards and this type of pump uh, liquid moves parallel to the pump shaft so the liquid is moving parallel to the pump shaft so this is a axial flow pump next is your mixed flow pump so mixed flow pump as the name suggests it is a mixture of your radial flow and axial flow pump so uh, these type of pumps mixed flow pumps they are generally not used in industry they don't have much applications but for uh, some critical services or from some special applications mixed flow pumps are used so moving on uh, depending upon number of stages so what this number of stages is means number of stages means suppose if you want a pump that 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 is uh, required for high head generation especially the pumps that are required in your boiler applications because boilers they have high head they ha they have high pressure requirements so it is not possible for a single impeller to generate so much of it so we go for multi stage pumps so single stage pump single stage pump is basically we will be having one impeller and in multi stage pumps we will be having uh, impellers connected in series so um, when the fluid from one impeller goes to another the head of the uh, head of the flow will goes on increasing and in this way at the discharge a high head will be generated so this will be depending upon number of stages single stage or multi stage next is depending upon case design depending upon case design we have two types of pumps one is your radial split pump and another is your axial split pump basically it is it is it is it is dependent upon how we will be opening the pump if a cross section is cut in radial split pump casing opens perpendicular to the shaft axis and parallel to the impeller so if you can see the this will be opened like this so this is like front suction and top discharge pump so it is opening perpendicular to the shaft axis and parallel to the impeller so this is your radial split pump and if we cut the pump axially in axial split pump the casing is spliced into two halves so it will be if you can see these uh, bolts are here so it will be opened from this portion so basically these are side suction side discharge pump so depending upon case design also we have different types of pump one is your radial split pump and another is your axial split pump next is your depending upon or the type of volute casing so we have single volute casing and double volute casing so sing, uh, double volute casing are preferred where high head uh, requirements are there and single volute casing for normal applications are used so these type of pumps they in uh, there is a chamber chambered part in your uh, in your casing so that is uh, that is se segregating it so this if you can see single volute there is no segregation or there is no chamber done in in between while in double double volute you can see there are two chambers one is this one and another is this one so guys these were a few and basic types of uh, centrifugal pumps that are used in industry and depending upon the requirement they are they are selected so guys i hope in today's video you would have learned the basics of how a centrifugal pump is selected so thank you for watching the video guys so for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching the video thanks a lot